Have you ever wanted to generate high quality VTuber in anime AI art like these images on screen, but maybe you don't have a high end PC or one at all. Well, I've got the solution for you, and it's called yodayo.com. Simply write what you want to see here, let's say Gargura, smile, and then you can scroll down, and here you have models. This will decide what art style your AI generator will be using. I personally like Mena, and I'll go into further detail on all of the settings here later in the video. You can go a bit further down if you want a bit more detail by using spells. As an example, since I'm doing Gargura, I can search her up, Click on her and then you also get all of these outfit options, in case you want her to wear a specific outfit she normally wears. I'm gonna pick this top one and then pick add spell. Just from this alone, this website will automatically generate images of the character mentioned, and you can add tags for what pose they're in, what they're doing, where they are, and so on. And now, generate. And look at that! This website is surprisingly powerful, and the best thing about it, it's free. You can even use it on your phone, but of course, if you want faster art generation, so it doesn't take too long, then you can buy YoBeans, which is the currency on this site. <laughs> Best name by the way. But again, you don't need to. You can go into the link in the description right now to get 100 YoBeans for free. The first thing you'll see when you enter yodayo.com is this, with free choices to make. You have AI art, which is what I just showed you, we'll go into further detail there in just a moment. Explore, where you can post your generated artwork, view what others have done, like, dislike, comment, basically all of the typical social media things, and you can even follow. But here's the kicker, you can click into any image, scroll down, and see exactly what tags they've used, including the model, so you can create better AI images yourself. If you end up liking something someone else made, you could copy the tags they've used, pick the same or a different model, make some changes, and here you go. Now you've got something in a similar style. One note here, you can go and click on your avatar, click settings, and then enable not safe for content for both this explore page and also AI art generation. You gotta have the option, you know? And then the third and newest addition to the website, the tavern. Here you can speak with a variety of different AI waifu chatbots, like Gargura, Your Forger, Raiden Shogun, and many more. This is still in beta, but it already works really well. It's basically like role-playing with many of your favorite characters, and you can ask it any question. Anything at all. Yes? Anything and everything. Let's go back to the AI art section and go through everything in a little more detail for best quality. In this top prompt you write tags and or sentences that describe your character or landscape. It doesn't technically need to be a character. In fact, it doesn't even need to be a human. It could be a dog, a city landscape, a room, basically anything you could think of. Then there's negative prompts. Here you write tags for things you don't want in your images. Let's say you're generating a character and for some reason it keeps generating them with a hat even though you don't want that. In that case, you can write hat here, and the images going forward won't have hats. On top of this, you can add parentheses to any of your tags to increase the likelihood of them appearing, or not appearing. Next up, high priority. Checking this on will speed up the generation speed by up to 50 times. Yes, really. I've done quite a few tests and high priority allows it to generate within just a few seconds. This does, as Saffir mentioned, use the Yobin's currency. However, you get 400 Yobins for free when you make an account on this website, 500 if you use my link in the description, and you get an additional 100 daily Yobins for free. Next up, the models. This will change the entire look and art style of generations. Some art models are made to look like real life, some like a typical anime, some more like a drawing, and others very abstract. But don't fret, it's actually not that difficult to get started. Yoda has provided these images you're now seeing on screen, which shows the same prompt being used, but on a variety of different models. If you especially like the way one of these look, then you could begin with that. Going down, we have spells. If you want a specific character or style that already exists, you could start here. Simply type the name of the character, and then click onto it. Another nice thing I really appreciate about this website is that it provides you with tags that may be relevant to that character or style. Simply pick the tags you want and you're basically done. And spells can also be used to change the art style to closer look like an artist or anime you like. And there's over 2000 spells that you could mess around with endlessly, so you definitely aren't limited with choice. And also, a fun little extra mention, my VTuber is also on this website now. You can search up Quirxis and use my model to generate any type of art you want. And share it with me if you want as well. Anyway, let's try to generate an image with that. And there you have it. While putting very little time into it, I managed to create a really unique image using a character I like. But we're not completely done yet. Scroll right to the bottom and you have these settings. Sampling method. I'd leave this as the default, 
steps is the amount of detail. Increasing this can make the image look a bit better, but it will take longer to generate. I'd simply leave this at 30. Scale changes how literally the text input should be treated. Higher would be more faithful to the text, while lower would have more artistic liberty. I generally like leaving this at 10 as it makes really good looking images. Seed can be used if you save the seed from a previous generation to create images that are almost the exact same over and over. Canvas, the last option, is for changing resolution of the image. Whether you want a vertical image or horizontal, you can pick that here. You can also pick custom if you want to pick a resolution of your own. However, you can't go over 1024 times 1024. This may at first seem like a problem, but there's a very easy solution. Let me show you. I'll generate an image and then press enhance. Here you can upscale and this upscaler is really good. I've used it time and time again and every time I'm surprised by the results. You can leave everything by default except for this first slider. Upscale, I like to upscale by at least two times, but if you want a very high resolution image, you can even go up to four times. And now it's done, and look at that difference. You can of course press download right now, and or create post, and share it with everyone else. Also, if you want to view your previous generated images, you can click in the top right on this little clock, and you'll get your full history. This website is painstakingly easy to use. You don't need to download anything, you just write a few prompts, even from your phone, and get quality that would require high-end hardware and hours of learning how to use. I think it would be very cool if they allowed you to save your own presets, a collection of tags you've made for yourself that you use quite often. That being said, that's just a nitpick. Another cool idea I thought of, although I'm not sure how feasible it is, imagine if in the tavern you could speak to these AI waifus and hear their voice. There's quite a few ways to make AI voice generation right now, and I think it may be possible. Maybe I'm dreaming a bit too far ahead, but Yoda Yo has already surprised me quite a few times, so maybe they could pull it off. If you have any more questions or need help with anything, you could comment below or maybe better, join Yodio's Discord server in the description with many active members that could help you out. And did I mention, if you join Yodio's Discord, you could also join a weekly contest to get 200 weekly Yo Beans for free. Thanks for watching.